Hey guys, this is John and I'm playing Bullet Chess on LeeChess.org today. So I've recently been using this site and I saw Bullet Tourney was about to start so I just decided to jump in. And this is the lineup we got so far. Um, I have a 1500 rating, which is I believe the rating you start with in Bullet. <laughs> uh, I haven't played any Bullet games on this site before so this should be interesting. And looks like it'll be starting at some point very soon. So this has uh, some rules here about the tournament. It's supposed to last about 30 minutes and I guess it's sort of like the old chess cube tournaments and uh, This is my first time ever playing one, so I'm not really sure what to expect Okay, what do I do? Okay, <laughs> there we go. All right, let's do this So basically you want to play fast and accumulate as many points as you can so it's a little bit different than my usual bullet videos because you know, I'm playing more for speed and the results rather than just, you know, playing a set of games without any particular goal. So playing and winning quickly is paramount in this time control, in this tournament. I actually asked in the chat, whoops, that was a mouse slip. I actually asked in the chat what uh, the best strategy was with the Berserk button, because if you hit the Berserk button at the beginning of the game, you uh, lose half of your time. So you start with 30 seconds rather than a minute but you get one extra tournament point if you win. This looks kind of dangerous for Black, so I'm threatening Queen takes F7 mate. He saw it. And I was advised not to use the Berserk button unless absolutely necessary. <laughs> that was what they told me. So we'll see if um, I need to resort to that. I hope not. Um, let's go, let's give it a check right now. And then I'm gonna play Rook C1. Oh, he actually moved his queen. I have a nice position right here. He's all pinned. Uh, let's just play rook c1. Maybe I'll back my queen off. Let's, let's go queen here, actually. Let's see how he plays it. We'll go after that guy. I'm still getting used to the interface on this site a little bit. I like the interface in the site a lot. Gotta say that. Okay, if he goes queen e6, I have bishop c4, skewering the queen to his king. So that worked out well. I guess I'll pre-move that. He didn't fall for it. Okay, and we have mate. So we're on the board, return to tournament. And, all right, paired me right away. Let's play knight f3 again. This should be a lot of fun. Shout out to Alex, that's A-Rex uh, right here. He's in the tournament. Long type subscriber. Okay, if, if he takes with the pawn, I get this check in, which is nice. Wow, king d7, no kidding. I'm gonna try to open up the center now. Definitely wanna do that. Okay, let's go c5. Let's see if he's willing to rumble with me and take that pawn. Maybe queen a4 check is also a good follow here. Let's we'll go rook c1, maybe looking to take and then play knight b5. He's, he would like to try to get something. Wow, this is this is really dangerous for black. I'm just taking and opening up the position right towards his king. So now rook fd1 is on the table. He can scarcely defend against that. He has to. Yeah, he's going to be shedding material now. If knight d5, I can just take it because he's pinned. Yeah, there's no way he's getting out of this. Now I can plan to take on c6. We'll just do that. Okay, we'll give a check. We'll take this bishop. Let's give a check here. Mm, I think I think this is good enough. We'll pre-move that. He's got a block with his rook. He resigned. Return to tournament. All right, let's do this. Some guy also has four points. Let's see if it pairs us. This is really nifty. Um, if I scroll down a little bit, you can probably see the other games in progress and also all the standings. Joining game. Lord Butter Noodles, this might also be a subscriber. Definitely let us know if you're a subscriber, Lord Butter, Butter Noodles. Okay, this is a gambit that I don't think is that good for white. At least I've never had many troubles in playing against it. But we'll see. Okay, I get a chance to get the queens off. That's nice. I'll try to back his knight off soon. He can maybe try to attack this pawn, but I'm not particularly worried about that. 
Let's go knight d5. If he takes, I take back, and then I, maybe I can advance d4. Yeah, because now I'm winning a piece. This bishop moves, I have bishop takes c5. Or this, which is good for me. Let's go here. I'll let him win a pawn on e6. It's not a problem. Um, can almost trap his, his knight, practically. If knight c4, I'll play bishop d6. Let's try to get the knight to d5. It would be effective on that square. Yeah, this is a good blockading square for the knight. Now I just want to go rook h8 and further blockade, or just do this and then prop up this knight. He has a little bit of pseudo-activity, but that's about it. I'm happy to go into an endgame. So I'll pre-move the rook capture. He decides to go back. Let's go here. And the knight b4, I think, is strong. If he gives a check on d2, I have this trick. Because if he takes, I have knight d3. Let's go pre-move that. Okay. I'm attacking f2. Attacking f3. Attacking h2. Taking h2. Let's take here. We'll just do that just to be safe. I'll run this pawn. All right, return to tournament. So I'm on a streak right now. I have eight points. I just got a glimpse of the standings right there. It looks like there's someone else with eight points as well. Okay, this guy's playing a solid system. They usually play e5, knight f6, bishop e7. Bishop e3. I like to put a rook on c1 against this line and prepare b4 and try to open up lines towards that well-entrenched queen on c7. Um, let's do something interesting. I'm just really curious how they react to this move. I was just trying to open the center up. Stick with a queen to guard this pawn. Gives him something to think about. Probably should go knight e5. Knight e5 might have been decent there. Maybe I can do a knight d5 move to take advantage of his of my rook x-raying his queen. He has knight g4, but I can just move the queen, and he'd somehow have to get rid of this knight in order to threaten mate. His time is ticking down. Okay, let's just play a safe move, h3. Pre-move this. I have a huge time advantage. Yeah, he's uh, he's not doing too well on the clock. We're playing sensible moves, trying to get knight d5 once again. Um, let's trade first. Let's actually go here. Maybe I can push f4. This knight is rapidly running out of squares. And his clock is rapidly running out of seconds. Okay. Back to tournament. Now I pass the moose guy. Playing a 1294. Uh, where's the berserk button? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I was advised to use the berserk button if you're playing someone much lower rated than yourself. But given that I'm leading the tournament right now, it's probably a bad strategy to use that in an effort to gain even more points. It's just probably not necessary. Okay, we'll go bishop f5 to attack his knight. If knight g5, I can drop my bishop back. Let's go here in preparation for knight f6. And if he takes, I don't have to double my pawns. That's why I played bishop e7 to start. It's castle king side. I'll see two's hanging. I can go after that pawn. He might bring his knight into d5. Just bring this back. Let's go knight e5, attacking the bishop, kind of monitoring the d3 square too. Maybe I'll go knight d3. We'll see. Yeah, um, Lee Chess is really slick. I like this interface a lot. It's, it's very intuitive. Um, didn't have to download anything. It's nice. It seems like a very well-coded site. Someone made that comment the other day on my standard chess game too, where I played on Lee Chess. They said it was a very well-coded site. Um, let's just double our rooks up. Take on b2. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. If I can play c5. I stand a good chance of just being able to crush him with my pawns. Might not even need to resort to anything else. I'd like to get my rooks coordinated though. That would be the icing on the cake. So maybe I can go rook c3 and double up. Okay, let's just chase him with our pawns now. Take that guy. Going after this. Alright, back to tournament. 
So we're on a streak and we're gaining double points because we're on a streak. So instead of getting two points for a win, we're getting four. Or yeah, is that right? I think we're getting four points. Jovi is our next opponent. We'll go here just to attack his queen. Let's do something interesting in a bid to shake up the king side. If he castles, I'll play queen d7, or maybe I'll play queen d7 anyways. I'll try to get my bishop into h3, lurking real close to his king. Okay, let's do this, also lurking close to his king. You can play g4 in an effort to keep it closed. Mm, let's go e6. I'll probably just try to play uh, bishop d6, maybe move my queen and develop my knight. Nothing special. Okay, let's just defend our knight on h5. He was attacking it twice with his knight and his queen. I'll go knight d7 hereafter. And just to clarify, by the way, because I know people saw me playing on a uh, lead chess for one of my standard games the other day and are wondering if I'm like abandoning ICC. And let me assure you, I'm not abandoning ICC in the least. Um, I've just decided to start playing on lead chess a little bit because uh, the site is pretty cool and I like it a lot. So I'll be mixing it up. Let's pre move this capture. I'm just destroying him on time right now. Attacking c2. Yeah, okay. Back to tournament. I have 20 points. All right, so I've got a nice lead going right now. We're playing Marcel Ox. I think this is another guy who watches my channel. So thank you guys for coming in and playing with me on this beautiful Saturday. Attacking his queen, probably knight e7. Actually, he plays this. It seems like a little bit of a weakening move. Maybe I can play bishop d3 and maybe h4, h5 and just try to crush him on the king side. I think I'll do that. I have a lot of pieces around his king right now already. Oh, let's take here. I think I can go after g6. He can go after this pawn, but I don't even know if I care about that. Okay, he dropped his queen. And let's just open this up. Bishop attacked, pawn on g6 is attacked. Not looking good for Marcel Ox. Oh, he gave the spike check. <laughs> the last weapon of a dying man, the spike check. Okay, I'll go here. I'll let you have that pawn. You can have that pawn if you want, Marcel. You seem like a nice guy. All right, checkmate. And who's in second place? BC8, 1858. I don't think I played him yet. Carly Main, 2031. Okay, this is, I think, the highest rated player we've played so far. Let's play Semi Slav against him. I'll take that pawn. I like taking the pawn in this line. Mm, don't move our knight. That would not be good. Let's go h6, just to keep something out of g5. And a6, solid. Definitely solid. Mm, let's go c3. I think he'll have trouble with this pawn. And b4 is kind of a juicy pawn for us to capture. Let's castle now. Maybe I'm a little bit worried about sacrifices on h6, but given the fact that he doesn't have hardly any pieces over there, that would be very wish wishful thinking. Oh, this is not going to be a good sign for his queen, or his king, rather. And that's a checkmate. Okay. Aha, Alex. All right, Alex from Norway. Good to see you, sir. And Alex said something interesting to me. Um, he said he watches my videos on his way to work on the on the bus every day. And he said I was one of the reasons that he misses his bus. I think me and Chess explained. Uh, him, me and Kristoff <laughs> were, were the reason that. Uh, Alex from Norway is late late to work sometimes, so. Sorry about that, Alex. Okay. E6, let's play. So I'm up a piece. He's hurting a little bit on the clock too. He's probably gonna move his bishop now or somehow kick my knight back. 
But hey, peace is a piece. Peace is nothing to sneeze at. I'll take that. Okay, we'll get our rook out. So I won't have to castle anymore or anything just to become active. I can swing this over here. And looking at a rook trade, if I can get my rook into d2, that will be even better. And he resigned, okay. So I'm on a real nice doubling streak. Oxymoron 21st is the second guy. And we've got, okay, about half the tournament still remaining, 15 minutes. So, Scandi every game. <laughs> oh, Lili Phoenix also is watching. Hello, Lili. Long time viewer and commenter. This is turning into like a John subscriber party. Well, this is cool because like on ICC, I don't get to uh, really play with you guys. So, it's nice to see everyone here. Ooh, that move looks really ugly. I gotta target that g6 square. I wonder if he'll castle queenside now. Because he just played f6 and pretty much ruined his position. So I gotta believe he's not happy with his, with his king position right now. Maybe he'll go h4, hard to say. Let's do this. My bishops are really annoying to him right at the moment. He'll probably play knight f6 and I'll play rook e1. Using some time, he's trying to get out of this bind. Okay, now I can do this move. This is kind of funny. So if he takes me, I take, and he's pinned along the c-file. He has to play knight c5, after which I'll probably play b4. Did not play knight c5. Well, let's bring this guy in just to probe his knight on d7. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's go here and attack this pawn. He can take on, c on d5 now. Take on passant. Looks like e7 is going to be hurting him severely. Let's take this pawn. Totally gluttonous right now. Just grabbing pawns all over the place. Who's up next? Brantz. Scandinavian. He declines it. This is an interesting way to decline the Scandinavian. I wouldn't advise it for white, because I think the Scandinavian is not an opening you should decline. Uh, e5 is not going to strike fear into the hearts of your Scandinavian opponents. Let me assure you of that. But it leads to interesting positions. Okay, here I might be able, I might be able to set up a tactic. So like, my idea is after he takes with the rook, I'm going to take here. Because if he takes with the queen, I have bishop c5. Is the idea. So he can't take it. Um, let's just go back and try to go bishop c5. Hmm. Give a check. Ooh, I want your king. Goes g5, tries to keep it closed. That's a smart idea. Don't want to play with fire. Now, do I want to castle kingside? Probably not. If he plays b4, I have bishop d4. And his rook on a1 is in trouble. Uh, also, if he goes knight b2, I might have rook c3. Hmm. I dropped the rook on f1. Is that a checkmate? Yeah. Okay, so I've got 40 points playing Chess Master 007. Chess Master 007 is playing the lazy player, lazy title player opening. Knight f3 and g3. Castle. Solid, solid setup. I see this all the time in Wallet. Like a disproportionate amount of the time. I'm happy here I have the bishop pair. Okay. He offers to continue opening the position. I will not say no to that. Maybe he should take the bishop on f5. He could take the other one, but now I win this pawn is the problem. See, so yeah, it might have been better to take the other bishop. Let's give a check now and just see how he responds. Okay, now we'll pressure him down the file. I think I'll pre-move this one because I have a feeling he'll take. Now his c3 pawn is loose, so let's double up and attack it. Let's just make Luft. Don't want him getting a wayward backward back rank checkmate. Mm, can I do this? 
I'm going to take here first. Okay, um, let's go king g7. I just wasn't sure if he could throw in a rook d8 move or something anywhere. So that's why I didn't do that. He can win a7 if he wants. Oh, that's a blunder. And if d7, I have rook here to stop his pawn. Yeah. All right. So how many players are in this tournament? 36, I believe. Just looking at the standings. This is pretty fast paced. This is nice. You don't really ever have to wait too long for a game. It's almost instantaneous. It starts. Hmm. I'm wondering if someone is going to berserk on me just for the heck of it. <laughs> I am up a pretty decent amount of, of points, so it wouldn't be the worst strategy in the world for someone to berserk and try to get back in the game that way. Okay, let's go knight d2. They'll play f5, and I'm going to go a4, bishop a3, c5. The drill. This is the drill against this opening. There's quite a bit of theory in this line, actually. So I'm attacking d6 several times, and he is not doing anything to defend against that. Um, oh, I actually had thought I had played b5 already, but I hadn't. This one I can take here and then take his bishop. And then open everything up. That's a hang of a queen. He's trying to mate me on h2, but back to tournament. Where's this berserk button? Is this it? Who am I playing? Okay, let's do this just for fun. <laughs> I might kill, I might destroy my streak, but this should be fun. I gotta play extra fast in this one. Just gotta literally try to kill him in the time that I have. I'm gonna try to do it. It's actually not looking so good right now because he's playing fast and pretty well so far, although he is dropping some stuff. I'm going to try to go knight a5 and then stick my knight on c6. Let's enable that pre-move. I'm going to give this check. Then go here. Then get their queen out of the way. a6 is hanging. So I can try to take that. Let's go here. Maybe get my king up to g2. Next move. Just to make sure he doesn't like kill me. Somehow with like a, oh, I don't know, some sort of tactic. He can barely move right now without dropping something like that. Yep, the wheels are falling off. I definitely pushed my luck with the Berserk thing. I could see why this is like a not a, not a measure you want to take normally. Let's do this. Okay, return to tournament. Kylie main. Okay, I'm not going berserk against this guy. <laughs> He's too high rated. Giving a 2,000 uh, 30 second head start is um, a little reckless, let's say that. Okay, bishop h4. This is kind of like a, I don't know, a bad QGD, I would think of it as. I win this pawn. And then I'll be attacking c7 too. I'm not going to go take that though, because he could have taken my rook, so I didn't like that. His dark square bishop is now under attack. Let's go here and kind of eye the f7 pawn a little bit. Uh, okay. He might, he might win e5. We'll just have to learn to live with that. I don't want to give up the c file. Let's bring this in. Let's go b3. Let's go after that g4 pawn. Let's go after the h5 pawn. And let's do this. Okay, now I can get these off the board. And then trade a bunch of stuff. Winning pawn endgame. Not often you get to demonstrate technique in a position like this. Or try to run him out of pawn tempos. Didn't have to play it this way, but 
It's an easy way to do so. Oops. Okay, he's already making use of his pawns. Back to tournament. He resigned. Ooh, this guy's actually kind of catching up. Oh, he's going berserk. That's why. The BC8 dude. Well, he's not close enough yet where I'm concerned. So we'll just play our normal game. I think he was still about 15 points down at least. Oh, don't move a king. Yeah, 41 to 57. So we're not we're not worried yet. Let's go e4 after this just to open this baby up. Hmm. B5. I could have taken that pawn, but this is fine too. Now after this trade, we'll be attacking c6 nicely. Yeah, and he lets us take it. Let's just take the rook too. Hmm. Not so hot for him. Cuerdo. I don't want to take his knight yet. I don't want to lose control on the light squares quite yet. Uh, let's just go bishop into h6 to attack his rook. Okay, now I can take that. I can take his rook. Let's pin him, pin his knight to his queen. Probably jump our knight into e5 next move. Prime of this. I'm threatening knight d7, actually. With a fork. Yeah, let's just do that, because even though he gets to take our queen, we go knight c6, and you know, being up this amount of material, like even here, I don't mind giving up the rook for a knight. It's not a big deal. He's just moving his knight at random now. Let's push these pawns. All right, back to tournament. So I got five for that one Berserk game that I won. Home 1938. Okay. We have a slow Slav. Knight is kind of misplaced on d2. I don't particularly like it there if I'm white. Let's go here. I'm going to try to strand his knight on h4. He doesn't want that. Let's go b6 just to keep his knight out of c5. See if he'll trade. He does. Knight e4 looks like a good place for it. Okay. Pretty even game so far, I'd say. Um, he's dropping a pawn now, though. Trades are forthcoming. Let's go here. Maybe I can work into c4. Something like that. Uh, he has bishop here, maybe. He didn't really notice, though. Hmm. Let's take... Go here. He can move his knight, though. It'd be annoying. Attacking his bishop. So he doesn't have time to take on b6. Let's go here. I'm holding everything. Let's see if I can trade my pawn. If he goes e4, I have d3. He might regret not trading. Let's go here just to gain a little bit of space. Maybe knight f5 is coming? We'll do it. Now we're up two pawns. This is a winning endgame. Bring our king up. Mm, let's go g6. Keep everything nice and tidy. Let's go f3. Bring the king into f4. Okay, now I'm thinking advance the pawn. All right, back to tournament. Ooh, it's getting close, 55-65. That guy is mounting a comeback. I think he must win games faster than I do. I'm playing some pretty positional openings. So, <laughs> maybe, maybe I should be more cutthroat, but for now, I think that's a pretty sizable lead. Let's take this pawn, then play h3. I would like to at some point play c5. That would be ideal. So I'll prepare that with a3, trying to go b4. He's doing a good job of resisting. He might send the knight to e6, I think is his point. Let's go knight d2. And I guess we'll try to trade. Offering to trade knights. He declines. Okay, let's play f3. This is kind of weakening on my dark squares. But... Now a4 is tender. We'll go back here. 
Hmm. Let's go rook b1. My pieces are a little bit jumbled right now. Let's go here. And maybe bishop f1 and queen f2 is what I'm thinking. He's offering to trade. He might offer to trade the dark square bishops. Okay, let's go. Let's go h4. Maybe I should go knight h5. I mean, he does have a nice bind on the queen side, but his king side is a little tender. It's kind of like he has been focusing very much on this sector of the board. Maybe he's vulnerable to a move like this. Who knows? Uh, let's take. Sure, he can just take with with his rook now. The time situation was beyond repair. Okay, back to tournament. And, oh, I didn't, oh, is it over? Yeah, it's over. Okay. All right. So, thank you guys. Um, just tell these guys thanks. GG's. It was fun. So, thank you guys for watching this video. And, yeah, I like this tournament a lot. I even got a little trophy. So, I'll be playing more of these in the future. So, um... I'll talk to you guys tomorrow with another bullet video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.